Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tea Tuesday. Y'all, praise God. The heat index that we're supposed to get, it maybe comes later this evening, but right now it's like 76 uh, degrees and rain. Y'all, first time we've had rain in three weeks. And it's slowed down a lot now, but we have got some good rain this morning. And instead of tea, I'm drinking coffee and I'm celebrating with sweater weather. <laughs> I've been so hot last night, y'all. At 1.30 in the morning, I went out on the porch and said I had the fan turned on me. And y'all, my fingers, everything was sticking I was dripping wet just outside for just a little bit. And I thought, oh my heavens, I will never be able to take tomorrow because today it was supposed to get up to 103 degrees. So hopefully the rain and everything we've had this morning is going to keep that temperature from climbing that high right now. And what our problem is, is we're caught between the mountains and the coast. And we have little mountains, but we're still caught right between there. So the weather has a hard time getting over the mountains or coming from the coast it gets blocked in the airflow and it, it just makes it like a, a rainforest around here i mean that's that's just what it is you know we always say you live in north carolina it changes well this summer has started out hot 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 and it looks like it's going to continue that's why we didn't have much spring we just had hot <laughs> but anyway uh just Keep saying prayers that, you know, everybody will get what they needed. And I know out in Colorado and all, they're having flooding. And Yellowstone National Park was even closed down because of flooding. So, you know, it's either too much, too little. But, you know, God knows what we need. And there's reasons for everything. And we don't understand them. But, you know, just bear with it. It'll change. It'll change quickly sometimes around here. All right. Y'all know... Uh, I sit there and cut some more uh, uh, memory decks cards out. Um, I keep a supply and I just go ahead and fix them and tape them and do what I want to. That way when I get ready to do something I can just pull them and go ahead and decorate or whatever. And these two I've had made for a while and I've never done anything else with them. And I've got a couple of ideas now on what to use them for. So anyway, I'll probably finish decorating those. But just remember, you can always make your cards ahead. You can decorate them ahead. You can do anything you want to. But that's what I've been working on, getting a few more of those made and uh, shapes and stuff. And I have been working on, uh, Trina had sent me these little real thick uh game pieces i guess is what they was it's i guess it was a kids game and it, uh, yeah it was because it was 2015 kids game but what i have done with these because i definitely wasn't going to use that i took them and covered them front and back with this gorgeous paper and it's not prima but it sure does look like prima and then I stamped on the back of it. I went ahead and stamped them. My country girl first stamp. So then when I decorate them, I've got them ready to go. And these are cut out two and a half inches all the way around. So that's ATC coin size. I made these ATC coins with the stickers. I added a little saying. I added a metal B. And then this ribbon in this is what I was telling you about when I buy these. Usually, I'm going to use them in a very small project. That way, they look neat and they work perfect for that, especially when they're tiny, too. Because that, you know, you could put add to something, but you're going to have to have a background or something on there. So, like I said, on these, I can just layer them up and they work perfect. And I do not just use the uh, stickiness. I always tell you, I glue too so that way you know everything's going to stay on there and then of course i inked around the edges just a little bit and uh, this one says the best and it's got the bird butterfly but that little metal bead isn't that cute i love that little bead and then these same thing now this bee has got the uh diamond like wings and it says choose happy with the pink uh the blue bow to match back with some of the blue flowers on it i done this atc coin it says beautiful and of course it's got another bee on it isn't that gorgeous though 
and then this one has got the small bead too because the way I had layered these flowers up the big bead just wouldn't look good there because it would be covering up the butterfly and it just looked gaudy over here so I used the tiny bead but y'all these beads I ordered off of Amazon and I, everybody had the bees. I needed some bees. So when I went to Amazon, I ordered two different things of them. This is, of course, the bees, as you can see. Aren't those beautiful, though? But I had already ordered these flatbacks, and I've used most of them up. Y'all know that. But I'm keeping them in here. But these bees, there was a second pack, and it came with this type, but it also came with a few of the pink and white ones isn't that pretty so anyway i ordered those just so i could have some and keep them handy for me and uh trina had sent me a couple and i used them a long time ago and so i was like i want some more of the beads i went back and ordered them and then i ordered these with the honeycomb charms and the little tiny beads and that's what i used on these but all i did was where it's got the little hole there I clipped it with my uh, cutters, but clipped like half of it, so it still looked like the bees have antennas, if you can see that. It's just clipped in half, but it still looks like antennas, and I thought that was just adorable. Anyway, so that's what I've been up to on that. Uh, made those four. And then, y'all know I showed you these plaques the other day. Well, I was going to do a couple things, and I was like, eh, ah, nah. And then I just sat down and started messing. So I painted this one up to go with the tray I had made. Painted it yellow. And all I did on the back of it, as you see, I'm going to assign it here. But this will be against the wall, so it's no big deal. But I went back and added this little cording that I stapled it so it wouldn't come loose. And when it hung, it wouldn't hang like off the wall like that. It would stay straight. But this says uh, one of the little wooden signs that says friends, and I glittered it up. I added one of the little uh, capuchon there, uh, acrylic capuchon, capuchon bees. I added one of the metal bees. And these right here are paper from the Dollar Tree. And I tuck and just glitz them up just a little bit. I add the background paper, but as you can see, now that's a thick background paper. I stacked it up pretty darn good and then added it onto the frame I had painted. But I think that looks so good. And y'all should see it with that yellow and black box. That is gorgeous. And of course, friend says it all. I love that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's what I've been up to. Not much. Um, got a few more things here that I've already made up to decorate. Don't know what I'm going to do. And I always sign my work on the back. So even if they're going to keep it, that's fine. If they want to use it on something, it's an ATC coin. They can use it on something, and that'll be covered up. But they'll know who sent it to them. All right, that is all I have right now. Like I said, I've, I've been messing, been playing, just not a whole lot of nothing. Oh, let me show you this. I had to go to Food Line to get groceries, and we went to Dollar General, which is on um, ours is just right behind it. And uh, that's on two stores down there. But anyway, what I did, I went in there to get my cat food and all that stuff. I got everything, but I found these boxes. And y'all know I've got several of these down here. I used to organize a few of my things, papers and ephemera. Well, y'all, these were $3 for this big one. And this is how it opens up. So, you know, you got the nice flap on it that has a metal. And that one says, uh rare and beautiful and this one says flourish and it's the same way a little more nearer but y'all this one the big one was three dollars this one was a dollar well they had them on sale for half price so for two dollars i got both sizes and i'm going to decorate those up and use them for a gift but i'll bring them back and let you see what i do to them but that's all i got that's all i got i hope whatever you doing today you're staying cool I hope you're having something fun to do, and, uh, you know, it's always fun to make up some things and have a head, and these don't have any ATC coins, so I'm going to add these back to my ACT coins, that way I've got my AC, uh, ATC uh, cards, I've got my Memorex cards, and now I've got some coins, so that will be nice to have added to my stash, and like I said, these right here was at, uh, when I had went to Hobby Lobby 2 night nine for 74 cents great way to use those easy to stack up and i used a whole sheet 
on these and it worked out perfect for all four of those ATC cards layered up with glue. So that's all I'm up to. All right. Hugs, love, kisses. God bless y'all. Happy Tea Tuesday. And Tea Tuesday is hosted by Kathy's Favorite Things and Life with Patty, two of my precious friends. And girls, I love this uh, Tea Tuesday gives us a chance to catch up what we're doing, what's going on in our own world. And y'all, I'm like everybody else. I got a lot of things going on and I appreciate prayers. Y'all know I will keep you in prayer always. And we will see you later. God bless you. I'll sleep with angels tonight. Love you. Bye, babies.